Crews have been battling a wildfire in Hainesport, in southern New Jersey, on Monday night. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service reported that approximately 20 structures have been threatened as crews work to contain the blaze. We don't expect the fire to grow much beyond 40 to 45 acres. At this time, no structures have been damaged, said Bill Donnelly from the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. Donnelly said on Monday night that there had been no evacuations or injuries. He also said he cause of the fire was under investigation. Right now we have roughly 40 acres of wildland involved. Um, our folks received a call from Burlington County Central a couple hours ago um, with the Haynesport Fire Department requesting some assistance out here for a wildland fire they have here in this area. So currently we have um, approximately 20 structures threatened. Uh, crews are in the process of trying to contain the fire. They're doing so by means of using uh, a bulldozer and using some natural barriers as you see here this asphalt and stuff like that so we have approximately 20 firefighters six of our engines and numerous uh, engines from our partners the local fire departments here throughout the county so currently uh, we don't anticipate the fire to grow much more than uh, somewhere in that area between 40 and 45 acres and um, at this time there have been no structures damaged uh, we do have a couple road closures Um, there have been no evacuations, no one has been injured, and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Okay. Right now, some of the challenges we're facing is just hard access. This area here has got a lot of ups and downs, if you will. It's got some sand pits in it. It's behind homes, which is always a challenge. Um, you know, going right in the back of people's houses, getting our equipment in there. Um, and it's just obstacles that you're not familiar with when you're running around in people's yards. This fire is going to continue to smolder. Uh, fortunately, it looks like we have rain in the forecast coming Wednesday night and Thursday. That's what it's going to take to put this fire out. Are you going to take a fun video of like my? Very scary. Um, I just never would thought this would ever happen. We've lived here for 20 years and. We've been very fortunate to not have any sort of fires in our backyard, so they're doing a fantastic job controlling it. Typhoon Mani left at least three villagers missing, destroyed houses, knocked out power in entire towns and displaced large numbers of villagers before blowing away from the northern Philippines, worsening the crisis wreaked by five previous storms, officials said Monday. Mani was one of the strongest of the six major storms to hit the northern Philippines in less than a month and had sustained winds of up to 195 km per hour when it slammed into the eastern island province of Catanduanes on Saturday night. 
Disaster response officials said they were checking if the deaths of two villagers were directly related to Mani's onslaught in eastern Cameron's Norte province. They said a search was underway for a couple and their child after their shanty was swept away in rampaging rivers in northern Nueva Ecija province. More than a million people were affected by the typhoon and two previous storms, including nearly 700,000 who fled their homes and moved to emergency shelters or relatives' homes, according to the official of civil defense. Nearly 8,000 houses were damaged or destroyed and more than 100 cities and towns were hit by power outages due to toppled electric posts, it said. The Philippines is battered by about 20 typhoons and storms each year. It's often hit by earthquakes and has more than a dozen active volcanoes, making it one of the world's most disaster-prone countries. Yeah. Did you pull?